We've all heard that old cliche that all a real estate agent does is open and close doors for their clients. And we all have friends that will tell you that you don't need a real estate agent to help you buy a home. And those friends are absolutely right. You don't need a real estate agent to help you buy. And even that old cliche has some truth to it. Real estate agents do open and close doors for their clients. But is that all that they do? In this video, I'll answer that question and give you five things that real estate agents do when helping their clients buy a home. And make sure you stick around until the end because I'll even give you one thing real estate agents do not do when working with buyers. I'm Tyrell Boak, a realtor in Kelowna, and on this channel, I help you navigate the real estate market and provide you with useful information so you can make informed decisions that make sense for you. If you get any value out of this kind of content, do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe buttons so that other people like you can see this video too. When it comes to buying real estate, you can certainly do it on your own. You don't need the help of a real estate agent or a realtor representing you. But if you're wondering what a real estate agent can do for you, here are five examples. Oh, and by the way, I tend to use the terms realtor and real estate agent interchangeably, but technically, to be called a realtor in Canada, you need to be a member of the Canadian Real Estate Association. Yes, one important function of a buyer's agent is to schedule and coordinate showings with the seller and get you into the home so you can have a look. On the surface, this doesn't really seem like that big of a job, but it goes much deeper than that. A realtor will see dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of homes per year. They're able to look at homes with a trained eye and able to identify things that could be potential problems down the road or maybe things that don't fit within your wish list. And because they see so many homes every year, they're going to have a good idea what market value could be. This is going to help you put in a competitive offer should you choose to put an offer in on the home. But it's also going to help you avoid overpaying on the home because you'll have a good idea what market value is or it could give you a competitive advantage if you find yourself in a multiple offer situation. A good agent will also help you take some of the emotion out of that new car smell of a potential home that you're interested in and help you focus on the things that are important to you and keep you on track. Of course you want to be excited about your new home purchase, but you want to make sure that you don't fall victim to that shiny object syndrome. One of the fiduciary duties of a realtor is to put your interests above their own and to follow your lawful instructions. At the end of the day, all the decisions fall on you as the buyer, but your agent is going to be there to help you look at all of the angles, go over different scenarios, and help you decipher the information. They work for you, and after all, you're the one that's going to be living in the home and making the payments. Yes, agents ultimately want to be compensated because this is their career, but good agents know that they can accomplish that by helping you find the right home at the right price with the right terms. Good agents build their business on repeat and referral clients. We want to do such a good job for you that you can't help but tell your friends and family about us. The average homeowner buys a home every five to eight years in Canada. That means that the average homeowner will negotiate a real estate deal once or twice per decade. Having a negotiation expert in your corner who negotiates on their client's behalf constantly is incredibly valuable. Not only will your realtor negotiate a fair price for you, but they also know how to build value into a transaction on your behalf. Price isn't the only consideration. There's other things like inclusions, terms and conditions, deposits, and other contingencies that can create value for a buyer. A good agent on your side will also make sure there's nothing forgotten during the contract negotiation process to make sure that you're protected moving forward and to avoid any unforeseen costs or issues leading up to the closing date. Speaking of contracts, a primary function of a real estate agent is to create an enforceable contract to get you to the finish line and moved into your new property. The paperwork in this industry changes constantly, with new rules and regulations coming out all the time. A good buyer's agent is going to be up to date on the requirements to write a good contract that not only protects you, but will save you time and money. The bottom line is they know what needs to be contained in a contract to make the process go smoothly, and they're going to be in a great position to negotiate that contract on your behalf. Lastly, but certainly not the least important, is that a real estate agent working for you as a buyer is not only going to give you the advice we've already talked about, be your sounding board for questions or concerns, and at times be your emotional support animal. They're going to help coordinate all the things that come after you've had an accepted offer to make sure that you don't miss any important dates. This will save you time and money and quite possibly a lot of stress and frustration as you work through the details of the deal. Home inspections need to be coordinated and any issues that come up during that inspection will need to be evaluated and explained. 
Legal advice from your lawyer may need to be reviewed. The final mortgage approval needs to be verified with your lender. And then you have your subject removal date and your deposit that needs to be paid. All of these dates and details can be overwhelming, but the agent helping you buy the home is there to guide you every step of the way. The home buying process is stressful enough without missing one of these key dates, but a good agent is going to have a process in place to make things go as smoothly as possible and ease that stress. These are just five of the things that a good real estate agent is going to do to help their clients realize their goal of buying their next home. But what about that one thing I told you at the beginning of the video that a real estate agent won't do when working with a buyer? The one thing a real estate agent won't do is get paid until you find the home that you want, get an accepted offer, and move into that home. A real estate agent's not going to get compensated for their time or the work that they do for you until they've completely done the job that you hired them for. And for now, in Canada at least, you don't even have to pay them out of your pocket. They get paid by the transaction when the deal completes. Let me know in the comments below, are you going to hire a professional real estate agent to be your guide the next time you buy a home, or are you still going to go at it alone? And if you'd like to book a call with me to talk about your next purchase, hit the first link in the description where you can book a time with me that works best for you.